Hi, I'm Linda Lee. I'm Associate Professor in the Department of Physical Therapy at the University of British Columbia, and I'm Senior Scientist at Arthritis Research Canada. My work is focused on helping arthritis patients by improving their access to good information about the latest research so that they can make informed decisions about their care. One tool we've developed to help patients is called ANSWER, Animated Self-Serve Web-Based Research Tool. ANSWER is a decision aid for people with early rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is one of the most common form of arthritis. It affects one in a hundred people and it usually develops between the ages of 25 and 50 years. The American College of Rheumatology recommends that patients with rheumatoid arthritis take disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, also known as DMARCs, within six months of diagnosis in order to prevent permanent joint damage. However, recent studies show that there can be a long delay in DMARC use in Canada. While there has been work done to improve family physicians' ability to refer to a rheumatologist and prescribe treatments, there has been less work done to help people make informed decisions about their own treatment. Our recent research found two common themes among recently diagnosed patients. First, we hear the challenge about the lack of useful information for symptom management while patients are waiting for a specialist appointment. Second, there was a lack of credible, relevant, and user-friendly information for making decisions about treatments after the initial diagnosis. This is where ANSWER comes in. We have developed ANSWER to provide information on the benefits and harms of two options related to using the most commonly prescribed DMARC, called methotrexate. The options are start methotrexate now or refuse methotrexate and talk to your doctor about other medical treatment options. This online program features six animated stories on patients making decisions about using methotrexate. It also contains an interactive questionnaire for clarification. At the end of the program, people receive a one-page summary that they can take to their doctor or pharmacist to discuss their initial treatment decision and concerns. During NANSER's development, we recruited 30 people with rheumatoid arthritis in BC, Alberta, and Ontario who had been recommended methotrexate by their rheumatologist, but felt unsure about starting the treatment. Before and after using ANSWER, we ask people to fill out detailed questionnaires about the level of uncertainty in making decisions about treatment, as well as their knowledge of methotrexate. Results show that levels of uncertainty decline. The percentage of participants who were likely to follow through on their choice of treatment increased from 13% to 70% after using ANSWER. Several participants felt that ANSWER had helped them to reach a treatment decision driven by what was most important for them. Some of them also commented that they felt more comfortable in asking questions during their doctor's visit after using ANSWER. We live in a world with access to lots of information just a click away, but getting correct information can be challenging. My research and my team at ARC are working to get accurate information into the hands of patients to improve arthritis care and improve the lives of people suffering from arthritis. <laughs>